What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. In this episode Jude Abbott attempted to try and make it. Well, the last episode Jude Abbott tried to make it towards this bridge to try and cut off the Ottomans and they have intercepted us. Um, so it would be interesting to see what kind of river battle it will be. Oh, if it will be a river battle, whether or not it will be a regular battle. But either way, it shouldn't be too much of a bother. Um, the enemy's force is made up of a large amount of irregular cavalry. They have one unit of heavy cavalry and a couple of units of infantry, but not much. Um, but we do have two pretty veteran Swiss pike units, so I am not concerned. So let us engage the enemy. Because if we win here, these three forces will be chewed up. Then there'll be just this Ottoman force here to prevent us from attacking Vienna. But let's face them on. Because right now, uh, situa <clears throat> the situation in the east is a bit funky. So taking advantage of our strength in the west is critical. And I think we're doing that. I think we have the route to Prague is open as well. After this, and uh, our north-south attack in Italy has also gone to plan. Ah, not a river battle. So deploy the guns on this high ground here. Deploy them all. There we go. Deploy our howitzers behind the line. Deploy my infantry in a mighty line. I, I, I do want to see where they decide to come at us from. Nah, miss one infantryman short. There we go. Then my Hessian Jaeger on each flank. The pike's a bit more central because we've got heavy cavalry to protect the actual flanks. So we are, yeah. So they've been they they intercepted us. So we are technically on the offensive, but I'm happy to see where this plays out. Okay, howitzers fire round shot. So we know the enemy is coming in on the left, so we can take our who are you, Feli. We can begin to slowly push up our line, and we're getting sound shenanigans. So I want to take this line and pivot it somewhat. My Jaeger run to deploy stakes, get my cavalry up towards the higher ground. General's bodyguard mounted Nizam Sipahi. Semini, Nizam. And speed up time. So Mahesh and Jaeger deploy some stakes. Because we know we've got a lot of cavalry coming in. And then fall back. Let's push up and begin attempting to try and clear out the town. Let's move... Well, keep our pikes supporting the left because that's where like I said that's where the bulk of our enemy forces are we're in a position where we can now start to quick climb I mean that unit of Nizam could be quite a good target actually I might do that because with this enemy cavalry coming in we're actually going to be in quite a good position to uh, deal with a lot of this cavalry coming in Delhi horseman Delhi horseman Sipahi Get my pikes up the hill, ready to back up my cuirassier. Sadly, we're getting sound shenanigans for the Zimindari horsemen, so we're going to see a ripple of grey gunfire here yeah. as they get pushed back. My Hessians haven't yet been, well, they have been discovered. Okay, the enemy's pushing on all fronts. Heavy cavalry charge the Delhi horsemen. Get my pikes involved. The mounted Nizam are likely to skirmish us, so that's not a problem. Fortunately, my Curiosity should do really well against the Delhi horsemen anyway, but considering they've got quite a few units to chug through, 
having my pikes there to help would be excellent. Turn my my Hessian Jaeger away so they didn't fire into the combat. It's the Delhi Horsemen are already upset. So I don't can't imagine adding some pikemen into the mix is gonna make them any more happy. There we go. Go on, pikemen. Charge on through. Just keep going. So out on the flank here, obviously we've got Mounted Nizam. Who's back there? So Muslim, uh, they're stuck on that house, which is great. Um, it always seems, so in terms of sound, it always seems to be worse during rainy battles, but I can't really change that. And my pikemen here should be having a grand old time. I know pikemen can only do so much, and they can get overwhelmed, but the fact that they're not just any pikes, they are Swiss armoured pikes. So you men advance. Just to try and start to knock out some of these units. The horse guards charge the Nizam. You guys don't stop. My heavy cavalry is going to take out the Nizam. So my Swiss Pikes and my Curacio are doing a real number on these guys. The Zipahi might be a bit trickier, because they are armoured. But then again, they are armoured Lance Cavalry, so... They themselves aren't a massive... Uh, ...winner either. Okay, so my... ...Heavy Cavalry push on around the flank. The main force of infantry is going to fall. Yeah, my pikemen are going down. They are going down, but... Oh, the idea is, can they do... I think they can. They take out the light cavalry first. The Zamandari horsemen units first. You've opened up against the Feline. So, the question is, am I get my light infantry up here to attack the stuck Feline? Assume those guys will successfully engage the Feline. This like this rank, this line, this formation can push up. You guys can take out the Feline. That's an, enemy unit, that's an enemy cavalry unit router, that's a second unit router, the Sipahi will likely go the same way. Felina routing, all my artillery focus on that unit of Azar just to stop them from shooting someone a bit closer. There we go, get my cavalry out of the way. See, that, there we go, push this line up to engage the author there. This left flank has been won. At great cost to my Cressier and Pikeman. There we go. So it does come in... This is even the weirder thing with the sound. It's not even... It's not as though it, it's completely broken or completely fixed. It just kind of appears. I mean, the best objective might be to actually also engage these with my artillery. Because the actual troops here will fall fairly uncontroversially. Fortunately, you are shattered. You men engage the Nizam here. Ah, they've got their own ideas of quick climb, eh? Go. Oh, I was about to say go get them howitzers, but nope. We must progress against the enemy as a coherent formation get the squeeze going. That was a Swiss Guards unit that took that hit, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You have my light foot here. Pick away at the Muslim. My artillery might make the the, uh, the house just be destroyed. Let's get these guys to chase down the Haydut Irregulars. If we can knock out the 47th Orta, that would be another offensive that we could push forward. We can't just run cavalry in because they've got troops coming in here. So we do need to 
advance the line as a coherent group. That's the challenge. So let's take these three units, spread them up, get some infantry up on the hill. There we go. You men chase down the irregulars. The Muslim have been broken. We're going to keep my light infantry shooting them to see if we can break them. We could charge them in, maybe, but seems like an unnecessary risk. Let's get you to get my howitzers to hit the Nizam that's coming in. Yeah, you are just in range of the 70. Hurrah. Hopefully with these lines, these units up on the hill, that should make it even more conclusive. I see some enemy cavalry charging in, but they're not charging in to assault. They're charging in to just... Okay, I might start to bombard the 24-pounder howitzers because they've limbered up. Okay, let's bring our cavalry back. Okay, they're shattered, so my light infantry can also join these men up here. Good, because they can actually fire into the the flanks of the Irregulars and also some of the more substantial infantry units. The centre of their lines routing. So I think the problem there is the Irregulars are actually out of range. take you guys and advance you up like so. Janissary Musketeers have realised what's up. Switch to round shot. Bombard them with round shot. Get the light infantry running. So that warband there is going to be a bit more upset now because they're going to be engaged by volley fire. I don't know who they're aiming at. Maybe the Semini behind them? Either way, skirmishers do not like volley fire. They don't take to it well. The Hessian Jaeger are doing what they can. Two guys I should just be pushing my pikes up the left. Okay, now it, look, it looks like that might be the end of their reinforcements coming in, in which case... My, how, my field artillery just engage whatever targets are on the field. No biggie. Pikemen charge the Semini. Get involved. Slam some cavalry down the hill. Into their artillery. They've got some skirmish cavalry coming in, but I'm not overly concerned about that. The horse guards are upset. They've charged cavalry into my pikes, which is a bad idea. Now, they are still bringing in some reinforcements, but it doesn't mean we can't do some damage to their cavalry. Oh, thank God. If those guys just fired a volley from the saddle, that would have been bad. Come on. Come on, 36. You can't stick this. Get my cavalry out of there because they're going to fall. Get my pikemen out of there because they are not not in good shape. Get this unit across the air to charge. To be honest, you guys might actually just charge the cavalry just to keep them off balance. Maybe try hit the janissaries in the rear with a cavalry charge. Pikes are routed, understandably they are just being skirmished to hell and back. So let's focus my artillery fire on the Zimandari horsemen to make sure they fall. You men cease fire. Let's get you guys to form a new line on the right flank. This cavalry can continue to attack the Janissaries. You guys are all opening up on these irregulars. 
who should break in fairly short order. There they go. So let's take this unit and advance up. Uh, don't worry, we're chasing them down. All my field artillery engage the horsemen. Charge these cuirassiers into the Mizam infantry. If they make it, they might not make it. Because they are I mean, oh, they're, they're wavering. Smash. And they are heavy cavalry once they get involved. Now, oh, my light infantry have no. I have no ammunition. Just run the Swiss pikes up. Yeah, I'll focus firing them with my artillery. That's pretty good. You men push up there. You men push up there. Pikes get involved. Swiss pikes also run. They've had to re, re they've had to reorientate to focus on the new threat, switch all my howitzers to round shot and get them engaging some targets to the rear. New men all fire at will on. Pour fire onto that unit of Hadrid Irregulars. So this army is going to be fairly smashed. Yeah, air routed, understandably. To get you men across, ready to try and do something against those horsemen, if needs be. Well, there will be needs. Charging, because it looks like they might. Well, they are shooting into our flank, but I'm not going to do anything about it for now. Advance! Where's my general's bodyguard? Let's get him involved. Come on, Jude. Let's stop all my artillery fires, it's currently not doing anything useful. We've swarmed the enemy horsemen, who, yeah, they've that's broken them. The mounted Nizam are likely not going to stand up to this musketry. The Hadrian Irregulars on the flank are likely to also break. Cavalry do I have? Hey, Janissary Musketeers. You men charge them, let's get my general involved, let's get my pikes involved, and let's speed up time. So you men charge them. I mean Jude might actually die. It did cross my mind, that's how my generals usually die. Okay, that should... Oh, okay, there's a, a gun team somewhere around here that wasn't... Their, their, tr their guys had run off the field, but they hadn't routed. But there we go. Judas repelled those Ottomans that have attempted to intercept. I mean, at great personal cost to his forces. It's nice that they ran over the bridge back to, <laughs> in front of his army. So you men, replenish and make your way to the bridge. That is secured. And then we've also got Kevin McDowell, who's going to march on Prague, because there's a lot of heavy horse artillery in that army there. So we are going to march on Prague. We are going to do that this turn. I just want to make sure that there's nothing I can immediately do. I mean, can you guys leave Brandenburg? You can. March on Gdansk. Because you're near Brandenburg, nothing scary should happen there. Can we leave... Whoa! Can we leave Dresden? We can leave Dresden. So you can position ready to hit Breslau. Because suddenly the, the, the Prussian Empire is looking pretty vulnerable. Let's take Kevin McDowell and let's take Prague from the Prussian dogs and get ready to destroy quite a decent little uh, reinforcing army coming in with some good artillery, that would be nice to uh, destroy. 
mean, it will just mean they uh, get to recruit it somewhere else, but never mind. Never mind. Maybe the tactical decision might be when you're chasing down artillery crews is to uh, actually leave one alive. So <laughs> they're forever running around as weak units and never get to reinforce. To deploy our heavy artillery to the rear. Deploy our heavy guns up front. Form our line. We've got our rifles on the right flank. Irish rifles on the left. Clansmen on behind the Irish rifles with their pistols and fire it all off. The bulk of the cavalry on the right. General in the centre. So let's pick targets, new targets for our medium howitzers. So enemy reinforcements are coming in on the left. I mean, I, I do want to take out their mortars. I do, well, I, I kind of have to charge. So if I push you guys up like that. Like that, god damn, that's a lot of damage to my marines. Charge my cavalry up, charge my rifles, run my rifles back. If they walk. Because they decided they walked rather than ran, that's going to be those rifles heavily damaged. And they didn't even. They're not even running away now. And they are against lancers, so the initial damage was going to be always going to be huge. So these men on the right have to push alone. My howitzers are going to focus the mortars as well, because I really need them to die. My heavy guns over here are going to focus on the enemy's heavy guns, not the enemy on the field. See, my green jackets even went back into the combat. They still wanted some. Yeah, those cavalrymen are shattered. So you men get to fight against the militia. The one unit of heavy guns has been destroyed. Push up to the house. So my artillery, because they're not, they aren't doing counter battery against me. We should be okay. Let's run one cavalry around the flank. One cavalry unit around the flank. Tenth light foot. Hopefully going to engage the nineteenth. advance up you men Let's see if you can get the fifth to abandon their position hurrah charge so I might get both of my I think they're both they are we are both shooting them with both our heavy horse artillery units which is good, because our howitzers are there to provide that fire support for the front line. Provincial line is being destroyed. Charge the firelock armed in in infantry before they get a cheap, um, a cheap volley off. Green jacket to do an excellent job against the regiment of foot. That marine unit has taken an absolute hammer in from their artillery. There's more artillery on the field coming in. At the very least, it's not 
how it's a fire, although... Right, you fellas get in there. Because they are now starting to throw in... Well, there's a bit... There might be a gap. But all three horse... All three artillery units are there. Which we can attack. Which means you guys can actually change your targets against the enemy on the battlefield. So if you can get there quickly... Quick line coming in. Excellent. There's even more artillery coming in. Excellent. Too late now, militia. God, the Coldstream Guards have also been hammered. This, that's quite a critical turn of events. For the enemy there. Firelock Arm Citizenry is returned from combat. Advance up our right flank. Our left flank can also pivot engage that unit of militia. Even engage these 24 pounder heavy horse artillerymen. Yes. Be a heavy horse artilleryman, that's that's nothing to be nothing to laugh at. They, they, they are good. Okay, the firelock arm citizenry have been shattered. Run our cavalry around like so. Push up you men like that. Riflemen, line infantry, behavior off. Behave as infantry. Oh yeah, my... <laughs> the artillery's realized we're so close. They fired a shrapnel shot into the... Oh. Yeah, running right into the muzzle of those guns. But it'll be worth it by Joe. Are firing. So our hearts can gauge the enemy. So you men pivot around this side of the farm, the townhouse. You men advance up into their throats. Green jackets get into the farmhouse. There we go. Bring my horse guard, bring my, these are lifeguards, horse guards. Bring my horse guards back. Actually, first of all, you guys advance up into their faces. Something like that. Yeah, you can try and get some kills, but it doesn't it doesn't matter about getting kills because we are attacking a city battle. We're attacking a city, so the mo the vast majority of these troops are already dead. Howitzer switched to round shot and engaged the regiment of force. Building secured. These new fellows advance up to the gap. These two units here. Then I'm immediately going to take them out of the farmhouse because they're just going to fire into the backs of my own men. I mean, I might chase down that unit because that unit is a real unit. Anything marked garrison, don't worry about it. 
but this unit is a was an army that came in to save as a reinforcing army from the horse guard artillery troops army and there are named infantry regiments so we might want to kill them so I'm not so bothered about chasing down too many units especially as most of them are going to rout anyway come on there's only four guys left to kill here only three guys and two of them are right there aha the last guy's all the way over here so I'm not bothered about the guerrillas I'm not bothered about and the garrison infantry I'm not bothered about if we get them, we get them. If we don't, we don't. But we're not gonna, so don't worry about it. There we go. So Prague is secured as well for the British Empire. So that's like the core of their tax base gone. In one fell swoop. So you may replenish. You will have university somewhere, I'm sure. No, you don't. Well, Leon Huth is on his way west to try and do something about it. Our named force is up here. He's going to try and link up our front lines east and west. Obviously, we do have a couple of enemy forces in the east to worry about. But we need to take Richie Compton and hit Darren Deli Hakim and push them back because they've, they're have they starting to push past our lines. So let's engage that Ottoman force in the open field. So we really need to start doing some, well, there's a lot of troops in the east, we need to start fighting back so they don't overwhelm us and they capture, so they don't capture any frustrating settlements. We want to maintain the semblance of our front line and this is a glorious piece of terrain to fight over. So let's put my guns over here, give them a pike unit for support. Take three line infantry units and a elite infantry regiment and deploy them like so. Deploy another set of guns here. Take an infantry unit and a skirmish unit to cover the flank. Another flank, we've got an elite foot guard unit who is not going to deploy behind the fence. Chiefly because it's never usually worth it. You normally end up with such a like. I don't think they use fire by rank behind behind um, walls. So yeah, they get cover, but they don't provide as much firepower. And I like firepower. So this how it's units firing. Aim at the mounted Nizam instead. I feel I tell you, I'm fine with attacking their guns. Solid front line. To be honest, is that. No, it's not a shrapnel target. Howitzer, 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 howitzer. Right, so we're going to want to advance, because otherwise we're just going to get quick line to hell and back. Not that that's a massive problem. If it's not field artillery, it means we're not going to get shrapnel to bits. I mean, this howitzer probably needs to fire a round shot in order to do anything useful. I mean, you, if you guys are going to fire a round shot now, that means you're probably actually going to aim at some of their infantry rather than their howitzers, because we're going to be right up in their face and those howitzers aren't going to last. Okay, listen, they are abandoning the right flank which is good news for us and I, m I might just run up like this because they are not in formation and we get an excellent opportunity here I didn't run my pikes up get my cavalry up on the right flank get my general up as well 
probably not going to be close enough, but let's advance our first four units into contact. You men wrap around the flank. Our heavy cavalry charge the Delhi horsemen. My lifeguards get ready. The skirmishes can not halt, but fire it will off. There we go, you men. Pour fire onto the enemy. Because they are not ready to respond to this sort of challenge. You men halt. You're going to get shooed apart. I think partly because these units didn't. <laughs> you went a different direction. You can try and deploy uh, to try and deploy stakes, but that's probably not going to help. There we go, the line is being hit. You deploy square, you guys try charge the flank, you guys just run in. You guys charge the enemy there, the rifles advance. Heavy cavalry, field artillery, oh my, my pikes charge, because this is, this is like, Ro oh god, this is like Rome 1 levels of battle here. Yeah, I was going to say, we're charging you in the rear with some real good cavalry here. Okay, all my artillery, ceasefire. doing any good. Skirmishes, skirmish the general's bodyguard, pikes, everyone work their way through the enemy units. Man by man. Heavy cavalry there and not doing so well against the Janissaries alone. Go. That brings two more infantry units into the fight. I mean, this could go horribly wrong, but either way, I think it's pretty fun. Some skirmishers are going to try and skirmish the general's bodyguard. You guys need to hit the Janissary Musketeers. Where's my other unit charge in? Where's my general? You guys need to get involved. Charge the Janissaries! There's this Aradia broken. So you men can transition to fight against the Aradia. Get our pikes against the Nizam. Get our marines to start to pivot against the other enemy formations. Get you guys to continue running around the flank. Janissaries might get killed. Skirmishes engage the general's bodyguard. Ah, oh, too bad about the noise. So you guys engage the gun engage the guns, you men charge on the back of those Faleen musketeers. It's nice to know these Janissaries did fall in the end. Okay, heavy cavalry. You're too weak to do anything. Advance you men up the fire at will on. Engage the Feline Musketeers. Charge! I mean, we outnumber them significantly. We've got pikes and marines and heavy cavalry. I'll chase down the Janissaries with my general. Swiss guards can engage the artillery. Yeah, may as, well, may as well get my general out of there. Understandably, I've got an infantry unit that's routed. Janus Musketeers are upset, the Nizam are upset. Swiss guards, the general's been killed. So 
You men engage the artillery guard mode off. You guys engage the guns as well. You guys just cease fire. There we go. We've got a, a complete collapse. I mean, granted, it did cost me most of my infantry. <laughs> you chase them down. You guys push through the gap. My infantry fall back. Get sharpshooters cease fire. I'm going to continue because you may as well. Just get my infantry to retreat. I mean, I may as well have my cavalry do stuff. I mean, this army is pretty knackered. At least we are going to do some stuff. It's not a complete loss. Nah, there's no point going after them. Get you guys to hit. And there's our infantry unit. You guys go after that 24 pounder. At the very least, we can knock out some enemy units. And we're not going to knock out these feline musketeers, but we're going to give them a damn good thrashing. You guys knock out those Janissary musketeers. Oh no, the howitzer crew are somewhere else. Let's speed up time properly. All of our cavalry against the last of those Janissary Musketeers. And then we have a, a gun crew over here. Who won't escape. They've got a lot of land to cover. <laughs> smack, smack, smack. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's quite a, that was more like, was very much like a, a Rome 1 battle rather than actual infantry battle. So your short one infantry unit, I'll say. Yeah, so you guys need to fall back. And we're going to reinforce you with infantry, and we're even going to run this infantry unit up next to you. Everyone else, I mean, well, you're... you're knackered. You need to dig in. So if this if this army was ready, I'd bring them south and smack this Prussian army. I don't want to move the garrison out, because there's a few armies here that might do some shenanigans, and I want you to be dug in ready as a bit of a breakwater if they go for either of my cities. So that's okay. So you, you're depleted, so I don't want to do too much with you. I mean, we're still sieging Naples, so I might just... Okay, can you, if you advance, yeah, I've, I've done this before. Yeah. So you guys have to advance to the east to block these troops in. And then let's take uh, Jareth Hutchinson, where we're going to manually attack Naples. Otherwise, we'll deplete our other force. We can take Naples, drive up Italy, and potentially lay siege to Rome as well. And then that will squeeze the Ottomans out of the Italian peninsula. And that will be quite a decent outcome, I think. So, so, so. Right. I mean, it's not... It's not an exception, the high-quality army. There's lots of armed populace and... So... Get our infantry, including our Black Watch, to form the front line, which which is going to rapidly advance. Got my British Marines on one flank, who are going to advance up even more aggressively. Spread my skirmishes out. Spread my cavalry out. Howitzers, just for a quick climb. Advance them out to the far side of that rock.
advance my riflemen up aggressively, advance my marines up aggressively. So they are going to quick loan the bejesus out of me because they do have a good block of mortars. Garrison Islamic Swordsman. You can try and have a go at my cavalry if you like. So let's get these marines up close. The enemy general's been killed. Keep running. So the 140th have opened fire. Oh, obviously they're already routing. They're pro they are going to break. My, my infantry is not going to give them a break. Push out marines. To be honest, my artillery just stopped firing. Because they're all going to be focusing my... My artillery. Oh god, let's watch the marines fire. <laughs> Didn't get much in, much fire in. There you go. Garrison's Namic Swordsman is skirmishing around my... Rifles, cease fire. My cavalry is going to knock out the rem remnants of their infantry, and my cavalry is going to have a fantastic time against their garrison Islamic swordsmen. Islamic swordsmen are good, but they're not good enough, I don't think, to be two decent units of cavalry on their own, they likely will suffer morale problems. And if they don't, then we'll just send in the troops. <laughs> there we go. Let's just take you guys in advance like so. Yeah, it is more about morale. Oh, look, they've done a real number on my regiment of horse. And 46, 45, so they don't cut my rope, my regiment of horse in half. Get my horse guards out of the way. Ah, oh, so many, eh? Send in the marines. New men cease fire. I mean, they may get a route out of my regiment of horse, but my lifeguards, they only killed 21 of those. Marines are going to have to join the fight hand to hand with their knock volley guns. Fired into their own combat, the madmen. Yeah, doing alright actually. Interesting. Keep the charge going on to this unit of Semini. Horse guards up front, backed up by marines. There we go. You get the honour of finishing them off. And this unit of Semini can't be too far behind the curve. You know how many marines are in. It's interesting they are using their volley guns as their close combat weapon rather than the swords that the marines normally get. Bring my general up here to glare at them. My marines are winning decisively. My horse guards and their gleaming blue tunics are winning decisively. The Islamic swordsmen are going down. But I might speed up Timer Rooney on this one. Don't need to kill any of them, really. It's just. 
Charles into the back, my general. Oh god! <laughs> there we go. Nice. Real good stuff. God, sorry, I just hit my microphone boom on my knuckle there. Oh god, look at that. There's a obviously there's a garrison Azar unit. Bombard them with my artillery. Bombard them with my artillery. Actually no I'm not. Send in the cavalry. Let one more volley go in. There we go. <laughs> Because they are just skirmishes at the end of the day. Oh, there was another unit, but they've broken. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So that's Naples secured. Again, that's another territory we know is quite financially useful. Rome is actually right there. And it's ungarrisoned. So I could run up. Demand the surrender of the garrison. Yoink! And Naples don't mind. Go on, Naples, become Protestant. <laughs> perfect. That's a perfect outcome. Build better roads. Let's really invest in Naples, because again, we know that it can make a lot of cash. Good stuff. And let's recruit a sloop to occupy the port. Let's repair Taranto after we broke it. And that was a huge coup that Rome was ungarrisoned and we could sprint forward and secure it. So human advance like that. So we're starting to bottle them in. There's only so many directions they can go. You guys could potentially attack, but I'd probably like a bit of support. Obviously Rome isn't entirely happy with us, so we're going to have to untax them. Let's build you into a church school. Let's make Rome into a glorious Protestant haven. So we've got a full stack to the north, a full stack to the east. They're not going to give up Italy without a fight. But that's good. You are now no longer needed. Let's combine some of these infantry units together because we've got we can reinforce from Munich. Ooh, actually, that's the elite guard unit. Let's... At the very least, let we can uh, make it so that we have fewer units to reinforce. Go. Cavalry's tricky, but the main thing is we have a reasonable infantry block. So if, we, if they push now, we can get them in a river battle, which would be ace. So you're not going to go to Berlin. You're going to go cross the river. Okay. Cross the river. And then head towards Breslau. Tripoli is taken but we're waiting on waiting for units to regroup at cert so you well build a black galley or two because you're going to invade to be honest i might invade greece and start to squeeze well right now the ottomans are going to be fortifying like this area and if i land in athens i'll have to start drawing themselves but then again i'll probably want i, t hmm. I think the game the name of the game might be to actually step up my naval production and begin a blockade because we get excellent visibility on what the ottomans are doing just raid all their ports so and natalia is their main production center but they're not going to do anything so Izmir is one of their main ports. As is Thessaloniki. As is Heracleon. We need to boost our naval production and send more ships east to blockade their ports. So you, Jasper, I might actually take you guys out of here, get you over to Sandy Bay to be repaired. 
Although both of our, those naval ports are maxed out producing trade ships. Okay, let's get... Well, to be honest, let's take... Well, eh. No, that's quite a nice... So I was wondering if I could try and get the Admiral over to bolster this fleet here, but that's kind of a silly effort. Prince Royal, congratulations, you've become an Admiral, Sheridan Dell. We've got Casper Edwards in Britannia. You could also go into the Med. In terms of research, it's all it's all all systems go on the navy side. Percussion cat needs percussion shells, but there's nothing I could really do. I don't think. Obviously, this mar this army's marching on. These armies have all been done. Montreal is still rebuilding, so let's hit end turn. It's our main armies in Britain that continue to grow. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with them. To be honest, they could make their way towards the Med. So they're going to go for Königsberg. In Prussia, looks like they're going, to, they're going to raid us somewhere. They'll blockade us temporarily. Prussians look like... Yeah, we've taken their schools, so they're going to have to send some of their agents on a... Offensive technology stealing mission. But I don't think they're going to be able to steal much of our technology. Fundamentally, in not very many turns, we're going to end up destroying our schools. It looks like we might have potentially had a, an Ottoman. Don't want to intercept, because it will be a river battle. Uh, I'm going to do it, but looking at the timer, we're pretty close to the end of the episode. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for, hopefully, what is a river battle against a full Prussian army, which we can smash. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. See you, everyone.